Hello everyone, today I'll be talking about an opportunity recognition and specifically it's going to be prescription delivery service. Diving into the topic, we're going to talk about the pain and a typical pain that patients in this particular market experience is, for example, patients that rely on long-term medications these patients, they need regular prescription refills, and from time to time, most often than not, they may forget to refill the prescription, and this causes them to miss their dosing. Other complications these patients may experience in the market is uh, having to call various retailers to make sure that prescriptions are available, having to check the prescription status, having to wait in line for 30 to 45 minutes, uh, all of which are just time-consuming experiences for these patients in the market. One of the epiphanies that allowed me to understand and identify this unmet need uh, about patients and prescriptions was when I previously worked over at Eurovan Sciences. It's a biotech startup, and during my time there, um, we experienced COVID, the pandemic, and we... Uh, had KOLs. These guys are key opinion leaders uh, in the health industry. Uh, they come in and they present and talked about um, the trends in telehealth. And uh, telehealth has been heavily adopted at Mayo Clinic, a highly ranked hospital in the nation. And um, from that onset, that helped me become curious and further explore the unmet needs of patients. Um, another experience that I uh, faced was when I was talking to my neighbor John, who is a type 2 diabetic, and he works long hours as an auditor for one of the big four firms, and uh, he often stresses how important it is for him to uh, receive his medicinal doses on a regular basis uh, because without that um, he would experience serious health complications such as nerve damage um, and overall he's just not satisfied because the United States currently lacks proper management uh, in providing patients with flexible access to prescription filling processes. A solution I'd like to propose in order to meet the challenges of these patients is to expand the digital health space by offering prescription delivery services to patients. This would provide at-home delivery of prescriptions and equipments to patients and it would be paired with a digital telehealth platform where patients and primary care physicians can have visibility on refill rates, authorizations, adverse events, and other important information to ensure that we have safety and efficacy for patients' medication regimes. This solution will work because it is aimed to help decrease the risk of medication mismanagement. Moreover, it would be highly beneficial to patients that rely on medications long term. By providing delivery of prescriptions to patients, this helps patients save time from physically having to travel to the pharmacy. This allows them to focus on other important life activities such as work, hobbies, family, all of which they can further dedicate their time to, as opposed to having to visit a local pharmacy or having to deal with the logistics for retrieving their prescriptions. According to Futures Market Insights, the total addressable market for prescription delivery service for 2022 is $117 million globally. With this solution, the serviceable available market for United States, North America for prescription delivery service would be 82%, which is approximately $96 million. Lastly, considering that we are newly entering the market, we expect that the proportion of the serviceable, obtainable market, we can estimate that we can realistically achieve in the next three years is approximately 11 million. 
Looking at the competitive landscape, we had three key players, Walmart, Walgreens, and CVS. When we attempt to take market share, we expect that these key players to respond by one, lowering prices, considering that they have large resources, channels, and networks to be able to retake that market share. We also expect them to increase their marketing efforts and innovations to further regain their market share.